Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K here, and we've got a lot of really cool stuff to go through today. We're going to be recapping the Cryptkins drop, and we're also going to be going through um, an analysis of the beta version of Vivi when it was still being um, demoed, and just some really cool features that haven't been announced from there. And it's also there's also a few things in there that confirmed one of my predictions. Um, so... I did want to touch on that again. We're also going to be going through our daily price analysis and also just addressing a bit of the kind of FUD and stuff that's going on as well um, in the market. And I did also want to kind of uh, highlight one of the shouts we got from Ecomi, which is really cool. So um, we'll go straight into it. But before we do, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who has subscribed and uh, liked the video, supported the channel so far, left all the great comments, feedback, you know, all of that great positivity is what motivates me to do these videos every day. Um, for those of you who saw the last video, um, you probably can see that I tend to have quite a lot of hobbies and things that I do in my life. So I do tend to be quite busy, but seeing the positivity in the community is pretty much what motivates me to do these videos every day so again thanks everyone for your support and we'll go straight into it so we did receive a shout out from ecomi today um so they said vv collect mark is up for trading big shout out to k and all of the legends from ecomi fan for the consistent content and company analysis and they shared the video um in the thumbnail there's a little pikachu in the corner uh kind of threw it in there because there was a little bit of a kind of pokemon talk from david Yu. and again as usual someone saw that and they're like can we discuss the pikachu on the thumbnail as if we don't discuss pokemon enough you know when pokemon um so yeah i thought that was really cool um some really great comments on here um yeah, so that was really, really nice of Ecomi. Um, now, moving on, this was a demo of the VV app. And from here, we can actually see a lot of the early features before they um, kind of uh, drew out their roadmap with, in terms of exactly what's going to be released, exactly what they kind of wanted to keep on the down low. So we'll start, we'll start off straight from the... Uh, latest drop screen and there's some interesting stuff here and one of these things uh, confirms what i said in uh, one of my previous videos so let's just have a look and a number of different brands as you can see here and then within those brands we have a number okay so this figure here is dc uh, comics bombshells but it's by cryptozoic and how do i know that well when i covered the cryptkins i looked at the cryptozoic website and i saw that they had co-licenses so this here is exactly the same one that is demonstrated on the uh, latest drop page so i said in that video and for those of you who remember that the co-licenses that is that are owned by Cryptozoic are most likely co-licenses that Ecomi has. And the reason why I said that is because I looked here on, on their Kickstarters. You can see here that they have Ghostbusters 1 and 2, exactly what Ecomi has. And they also have Dark Knight, exactly what Ecomi has. But they also have AMC um, Walking Dead. And that's one that we haven't had announced by Ecomi. But most likely they have this as well because I've noticed that the co-licenses that they have of their licenses, um, they're kind of shared between each other. So I did also see, also see here um, from that last video that they had a uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Freddy Krueger. So I believe Ecomi might have that as well. Um, again, that is speculation, but um, you know that video, the demo did confirm my speculation from previous video in terms of you know them also having co-licenses for these DC bombshell figures. Um, now moving on, I did also want to share a few other cool tidbits. So here we can see the uh, Monster Hunter Iceborne, um, I forgot the name of it, the uh, dragon, but this is one that I really want. I think this looks really, really cool. And we can see the DC Bombshells figure in the background as well. And if we just go to here. So right now I'm in my collectibles screen and I'm just going to filter this by my Back to the Future. Okay, now there's a couple of interesting things here. They've got the DeLorean, and this DeLorean is the older version um, before they made it, you know, a lot more detailed. Now, we know D uh, BC Trevor, he has joined Ecomi, and he used to be one of the lead artists at Riot. So we can expect, you know, really, really high quality NFTs coming out for season two. And here, this um, kind of base, this is the delorean uh pedestal so we know that themed pedestals for your showroom are coming out because right now we don't even have anything for our showroom really you know we, we've seen like some really vanilla plain looking white blocks for pedestals but you know when these themed ones comes out and you know we get themed showrooms and everything that is when the app is truly going to start to really take off so we've definitely got some good stuff to look forward to for that um and on top of that like so um so it allows you to have all of your collectibles front and center 
Now, uh, let's have a look at one of the actual collectibles you own. Uh, Okay, now here we can see the USS Enterprise and David Yu, he did tease at us the um, USS Enterprise in his Instagram and from one of my previous videos I highlighted that I asked David um, to give us a hint on what the new type of digital asset could be and he left the Star Trek teaser. So I think this USS Enterprise, it might be related to the new type of digital asset, whether it's linked to a physical asset or whether it's something related to geolocation, I'm not sure. Um, Maybe it's upgradable, who knows, but we've definitely got that to look forward to as well. Now, moving on, there is another cool confirmation that we had as well um, that I wanted to share with you guys. And then, of course, I can find the perfect angle uh, and I can take a photo. I can take a photo anytime, anywhere, and I can share that uh, right across. Okay, so we've got the Batmobile, and this was the Batmobile that I highlighted in the background of one of my previous videos as well when we were looking at the roadmap of Ecomi. And what's really cool I didn't notice is the doors open, the wheels turn, all of that stuff, so exactly the same as um, the DeLorean. So this is also an interactive NFT, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so I can't wait for this Batmobile to come out. I definitely want that for my showroom. Um, and with regards to the showroom, I did also want to touch on... The concept of AR and the showroom as well. There's your display of all the collectible on your shelf. The idea is that you can show off your collectibles anywhere. Okay, now I don't know what unicorn this is. This is some cool looking metallic one. Um, it's definitely not metallo, but it's some unicorn. So I haven't seen this one before. Um, I've noticed that there are unicorns being teased that we haven't seen before. Oh, here's um, the Catwoman as well. Um, so I think this is the kind of non bombshell version. So we know that Catwoman is there. Um, oh, wait, here in the corner, you might not be able to see, but it's right there in where my mouse is hovering and there's this little unicorn that you might see from some of the demo pages um i think these unicorns are coming like maybe in season two but you can have your showroom um plinths and stuff the pedestals in ar so i think that is pretty cool as well and what i want to also touch on is um if we have a look at let's just jump straight to the ecomi uh, actually, let, let's just touch a little bit on in terms of the market. So um, I saw this uh, posted by Reese today, and I did find it quite funny. But at the same time, you know, it just goes to show um, what kind of people we have in this uh, community as well. We have the great, like, really cool people. And then we've just got people that have got nothing better to do with their life except to make fake accounts and just uh, ruin bids. So, you know, I saw it. And, you know, they're, they're just trying to spread so much fun. Like, look at the name, Reese Liar Big Dump May 9th. May 9th, poo poo, gorilla dump May 9th. It's like, you know, I'm going to say this now, right? Usually, what happens is the exact opposite of what these people want you to believe. When we had um, exchange listings, people think the price is going to shoot up. The price normally dumps because people have already priced in that. I think what's going to happen on May 9th is there's going to be no market dump because I know how businesses work. You know, I've worked in financial markets for, you know, however long. Um, and it, it's just not a thing where the founders get their equity and they dump it on the market. It just, it, that's just not what happens because they've vested, you know, a lot of their time and effort, all these relationships and seeing a project to fruition is more important than money. If they wanted money, they would have like exit time ago. Um, so what's going to happen is people are going to say, see, Hey, the founders don't didn't dump their token. And most likely people are going to start buying back in. But the people who push the hardest, push the most FUD to get the price down, I guarantee you those are the ones who have already bought back in. And I saw confirmations of that in the price as well. And I'm going to touch on that when we go into our price analysis. So most likely right before May the 9th, I'm going to expect the price to start going up. And when that day hits, um, those who sold thinking that they can buy back in cheaper, they're going to be, you know, maybe pleasantly or unpleasantly surprised that the price has actually shot up. Um, and I've seen the opposite happen right before an exchange listing. Um, this not just with Omi, but other coins, you know, people um, have all of this uh, FOMO pushed onto them. Like, you know, you have to buy now. The exchange listing is coming. And on the day of the listing, you know, the people who bought in really, really low, they sell the price dumps. And the people who bought, you know, at all time highs right before the listing, they're stuck there, you know, having to, you know, to eat that loss. So I just wanted to make that extremely clear that 
on May 9th, people have short memories. They're going to forget about this. Um, and we've just seen this constantly happening with the marketplace. You know, the marketplace was closed. People, you know, lost their minds. And then the marketplace opened up. You know, everyone just forgot about it. Um, and now, right before we move on to price analysis, I did also want to touch on the drop. So I did manage to get the um, Kripkins. So I've got the full set after doing a bit of trading on the marketplace. Now, there was a lot of FOMO in the marketplace. So, you know, some of the prices were pretty wild. Um, we we're seeing the commons going for like 30 gems. And now after the price has settled, I see commons going for about, you know, 14 gems, which is more reasonable. Um, so you guys can have a look here that I've got all of them. Um, kind of form like this demonic satanic circle of them uh, worshipping the uh, cosmic Cthulhu. Um, I actually really like these and I think these will go great on a pedestal. Um, so, and the thing is, these are the series one um, collectibles and the artwork for these, um, this is kind of like the original artwork before they got BC Trevor on board. So I feel like there is some value in that as well. Um, and for those of you who haven't seen, uh, I have been trying to collect as well. I've been uh, kind of active in the marketplace. I need to uh, I, I need to fix the alignment of that portrait there, the Ultraman one. Um, and I can't, I still can't add the secret rare to my um, showroom for some reason. I need, I don't know when that's going to be uh, available to add. Please do let me know in the comments if you got the ultra rare, uh, the secret rare Ultraman artwork, and you're able to add it to your showroom uh, because I would definitely be interested to hear about that. Uh, but as you guys can see, um, the Kripkins. Uh, the ultra rare for some reason i was actually able to buy it instantly this time usually i lag for ages and i get errors so i think that was pretty cool um but yeah i decided to take this one in a different park this time so you guys can see my ar vote there um now lastly i want to touch on the price analysis of omi so Oh, and before we go into our price analysis, I did also want to give a shout out to uh, Michael Plissac. He is currently looking for an ultra rare um, Kripkin, the Cosmic Fulu one, um, and he's a hardcore Kripkin collector. He's got the full like physical set. He was trying to get the ultra rare, but it did the, the app did error on him on the purchase. So he's currently looking to buy a cosmic Cthulhu. So if anyone has one for sale, um, please do reach out to Michael Plasak. This is on the Facebook uh, VV Collectibles community group powered by VVWiki.com. Um, so reach out to him here. I think he's a uh, I think he was offering around 200 gems for one. Um, or if um, you can negotiate, um, maybe you're looking for something that he can offer you, um, do reach out to him because I definitely want him to get one just because he's, you know, a lot of us, like, we didn't even know what Kripkins were before this drop. And for someone to actually have, you know, the full physical set, um, and clearly, you know, this guy knows what it is. <laughs> He's like collecting it. Uh, I would want someone who actually knows and likes the brand to have the ultra rare, not just people, you know, who are looking to resell it for, you know, some extra gems. So definitely hit him up, please. The Omi token, um, it's done some pretty interesting things. And there have been a few confirmations for me now. So firstly, if we move in, so we're on the hourly chart. And Omi looks incredibly bullish right now. Um, we had a wick below the 0.45 cent region here. Um, it didn't touch 0.4 cent where I had my other pending buy, but I did hit my 0.45 cent pending buy, and the price recovered all the way back up to nearly uh, 0.6 cents. Um, and now it's kind of uh, within this range again, um, these two, uh, this support and resistance here. Um, it did break, um, and now it's kind of... Uh, consolidating retesting here but what i want to highlight is as soon as we touched um as soon as we touched down below this 0.5 cents reason this candle was absolutely ridiculous we had you know 300 million dollars worth of buying pressure um, which is like a third of the market cap so what that tells me is there are some huge huge players that are actually buying omi as in they have pending buys ready so as soon as the paper hand guys the paper handed moon boys sell these guys these massive wells are ready with their pending buys to buy up and i have noticed that has happened before once i thought it was coincidence but here when we touched this uh region of support we had this huge candle similar before similar to before over 300 million dollars worth of pressure on that one candle and again we had the same thing happen twice so that tells me that there are big players out there with pending buys. And if we go to the four hourly chart and just have a little zoom in here. Now take a look at that guys, like how perfect is that? 
you know, we had a wick below. Um, someone must, well, a load of uh, people must have been panic selling here. And this just got bought up straight away. You know, we rebounded, we um, broke, we retested, couldn't close above this line of support here. Um, that resistance was a bit too strong, but we do have a green candle again. So it looks like we could come up and retest again this uh, resistance. And then if we can close above, we should be good for a continuation to the upside. I think what's going to happen is my prediction is on May the 9th, the price is going to go up. So we've definitely got some interesting stuff to look forward to, but that's pretty much everything I want to cover today, guys. Um, as always, please do like and subscribe to support the content. And I'll keep you guys updated with anything I hear. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.